Hey, what's up guys, San Pedro here and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create proxies for fast editing. Sometimes you may land in a situation where the video is failing to play smoothly. For example, you can see how this video is playing very choppy, dropping frames, and this is going to be very difficult to edit. The reason why it is playing like this is because the codec or bitrate used to shoot this video is so high that the computer can't handle it. Or maybe you are using a very small computer. To solve that problem, we need to use proxies. Proxies are converted video files that you use in place of the original file. What this means is that we need to convert those video files into something that our computer can handle and can play without problems. Then we use those converted video files for editing because now our computer can handle them. And after we are done editing, then we will reconnect those converted video files to the original video files and export a high quality video. Adobe Premiere Pro has a very intelligent way of working with proxies. Let me show you how to create proxies in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. The first thing that we're gonna do is to import our videos into Premiere Pro. When I play one of these clips, you can see it is not playing smoothly. So what I'll do is select all the clips, right click and then go to the proxy. Then select create proxies. A proxy window will open. On the format, select H.264. On preset, you can choose which one your computer will be able to handle, but the low resolution proxy will always work, so I will select that one. On the destination, you can select where to save those proxies, but it is advisable to choose the first option which says next to the original media in the proxy folder. What this will do is it will create a proxy folder inside the folder where your videos are saved. So make sure you select that option and click OK. Adobe Media Encoder will open automatically. So make sure you have it installed as well. It will add all the clips you selected and convert them into proxies. This might take some time depending on how many videos you are converting. Once it's done, you will see another folder called proxies in the folder where you saved your original videos. Let's go back to the project, but before we do anything, let's go to the project monitor and click on this add button here. Then find this button called toggle proxies and drag it to the menu. With this button, you can switch between proxies and original files. Once you click on it, it will change color to blue. This will mean that you have switched from original videos to proxies. When I play that video, look at how smooth it is playing now. This will make your workflow easy and faster. After you are done editing, press that button again. This will reconnect proxies back to original files. You can see if I play that clip again, it's no longer playing smoothly because now it is playing the original file. But since you are already done editing by this time, just export your video. Don't export your video when this proxy button is selected, otherwise you will also be exporting a low quality video. Anyways, thank you so much guys for watching. This is it on proxies. Hopefully your workflow will be much easier and faster. See you in the next video. This is it. Peace.